Hi. In this video, let's study about rank of a matrix. So let's see the definition of that. The rank of a matrix refers to the number of linearly independent rows or columns in the matrix and it is denoted by rho of E. A matrix is said to be of rank 0 when all of its elements become 0. And we are going to find the rank of a matrix now by using rho echelon form. Now let's see the steps to find the rank of the matrix by using echelon form. The first one is the first element of every non-zero row should be 1. And the row in which every element is 0, then that row should be below the non-zero rows. So total number of zeros in the next non-zero row should be more than the number of zeros in the previous non-zero. And we are going to achieve this echelon form by using the following instructions. Uh, we can interchange any two rows that is allowed. And we can multiply a row by a non-zero constant that is R1 goes to K times R1. And a constant multiple of another row is added to a given row. So um, if I say this K, this K could be a positive one or a negative one. And also please note that the rank of a matrix cannot exceed more than the number of its rows or columns. For example, if you are having a 3 plus 3 matrix, definitely the rank will not exceed the number 3. Let's see an example. Now uh, we have the given matrix that is A with first row 2, 3, 4 and second row minus 1, 2, 3 and the third row. 1, 5, 7. So we are going to bring it to the row echelon form. So what is the first condition? The first non-zero entry should be 1. So since already we have 1 here, so what I am going to do is, I am going to replace row 3 and row 1. Actually this is your first row, row 1 and this is your second row, row 2. And this is your third row, row 3. I am just going to interchange 1, 5, 7. Second row I am keeping this as it is. And third row is 2, 3, 4. I have interchanged row 1 and row 3. So now uh, the first non-zero element is 1. You try to make the first non-zero element over here as 0. Okay. So if I have to make this as 0, just check this previous element, minus 1 plus 1. If I add these two rows, this will become 0. So I am going to do the operation row 2 goes to row 2 plus row 1. So I will write first row as it is 1, 5, 7. Now I am going to add minus 1 plus 1, 0, 2 plus 5, 7, 3 plus 7, 10. So I have done this. So I am going to make this as 0. So this is 2. So 2 minus 1 into 2. If I do that, this will become 0. So what I am going to do is row 3 goes to row 3 minus 2 times row 1. So 2 minus 2 into 1 will give you 0. And here we have 3 minus 2 into 5. So you can do it in your rough note. So 3 minus 10 minus 7. I'll write here. And what will happen to the next value? 4. Here we have 4. 4 minus 2 into 7. So 4 minus 14 will have minus 10. So now your A has been transformed into this matrix. Again you are checking. I can make this last row completely 0 just by adding row 3 and row 2. So what I am going to do is I will keep the first row as it is. Second row as it is. And I am going to make R3 goes to R3 plus R2, row 2. So 0 plus 0, 
zero, minus seven plus zero, zero, minus ten plus, uh, sorry, minus seven plus seven, zero, minus ten plus ten, zero. Now, if you see here, the number of non-zero rows is only two. Again, the first non-zero value should be one. So, for this sake, again, I'm going to do one small change. That is, I'm going to write a as one five seven. I'm going to divide row two by seven. If I divide this by seven, it will become one. Zero by seven, zero. Seven by seven, one. This term is ten by seven, and last row is zero. Now, as per row Eklan form, uh, the first non-zero element is one, and uh, the entire row, of, any entire row is zero, means that row should be there at the end. And you are going to count the number of non-zero rows. How many non-zero rows are there? One, two. Therefore, rank of the given matrix, rank of A, is equal to two. Hope you understood this. Thank you.